哦，我的古筝，哎<笑><笑>，你不不，剪出来。<笑>老师傅。啊，舒服 is like what， like the 无瑕片那款啊，无龙片。I think, so. <laughs> I think we all have the same person in mind. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> we like Uncle. I'm not there yet. <laughs> okay, one two three, say the same name. <laughs> one, one two three, Daryl. <laughs> Rest of them. Don't necessarily look like that. I don't think it's true. I mean, it's a stereotype. Maybe if you watch a lot of like old kung fu movies, then yeah, maybe you see a lot of old men with weird mustaches. <laughs> I think probably cause of the media, so yeah, like Chinese movies, uh, all yeah. the wuxia pian, all the definitely always have that same. Yeah, no lah, not true lah. There's so many、yeah. new new and young people playing Chinese music these days. Definitely, damn, not true. Do the next one. All from Chinese orchestra CCA. I am. Are you? Oh yes, you are. are. We're from the same school. I'm from Onzhou, man. Oh yeah, that's Guzhou Onzhou, right? Yeah. Actually, in Singapore, I think it's quite a common thing, lah.、Right? Even for symphonic band too, right? Which is where I'm from. I'll say most, lah. Really, majority will come from CCA. Yeah. If we don't get acquainted with Chinese music from young, ah,、uh, it is unlikely in Singapore we will get acquainted with Chinese music that easy. Too much Chinese imagery and constant references to Chinese culture. Reference to Chinese culture. Yeah. No, I not necessary that I feel.、Oh, it is a Chinese instrument. What do you expect? <laughs> Why is this a bad stereotype? Like, doesn't make sense. No, I think it creates a unique identity、exactly. for Chinese music. It is Chinese music, Chinese people. Yeah, cannot lah. Because like, you see all the secondary school, primary school,、mm. almost half the time, right? They playing like pop songs, yeah, medleys, yeah, yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I realize also. Let me just swap the word Chinese, okay, with another random word. Then you see whether it makes sense to you not. Too much hip hop imagery and constant references to hip hop culture. Yeah, does that make sense? <laughs> it does, right? Because that is the genre and that is the、yeah. culture. So, why are we complaining? <laughs> anyway, because Chinese music sounds very、yeah. Oriental. The moment the the sound of the which is what sound the earth、uh, comes out, you just have the Chinese painting in front of you. Yeah, but we do agree that there is a lot of this imagery, lah.、Like. I don't see a bad thing in this. This is not necessarily a bad thing for me because we they are celebrating their culture through their music, and this is where the music actually came from.、So、yeah, I should be proud of Chinese Chinese yeah, music. <laughs> Chinese musicians are boring and feel very exclusive.、Mm. <laughs> <laughs> boring as in what sense? I think boring as in like we got no life. <laughs> why? Why? Why no life? <laughs> <laughs> we just practicing all day. Practicing all day. Yeah, <laughs> you're very hardworking. Actually, I think Chinese musicians are very hardworking. Yeah, we have to practice a lot. Yeah, we strive to stand out. Yeah. Yes. So having worked with Chinese musicians, like both young and old, ah,、uh, not really. I I think it only feels exclusive because they are like the the normal people are not really exposed that much to them in the first place. It's just、mm. that not many people know about. The different instruments in the. Ah、uh, yeah, <laughs> I recently saw one meme online. They just group the whole Chinese orchestra instruments together. Then someone who doesn't know Chinese orchestra is this the Gu Zhen? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's true because I got that from my friends all the time.、No. The only Chinese instrument they know is Gu Zhen. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I would say that there's a barrier to entry, lah. So to people to、yeah. appreciate Chinese music, right, there must be a certain level of maybe understanding, yeah, of the con- cultural context and everything. Maybe that's harder to understand. It,、uh, this is the exact opposite of what Tang is trying to do, right?、Yeah. We're trying to be out there and、mm. letting more people ex- get exposure to Chinese music and don't look, make us look that exclusive. Yeah, yeah, and、right. we're certainly not boring. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese girls on the cushion. Most people will assume it's played by females who wear t p o w s Are you? <laughs> Then men? I mean, that's not the first card we answered. Was a lot of old uncles and lots of shifu. So now it's a lot of girls and t p o w s I cannot relate to this. Actually, a lot of people think that ah,、uh, girls that play kuzhen right is very like xian nu xian nu kind of of like. So you think you are very xian nu? 
No, yeah, very tall. <laughs> Visually, maybe there are more girls who play Gu Zheng and they tend to wear t Pao when they're performing in like formal concerts. Actually, funny story, once uh, in primary school, I joined my school CEO, then uh, the whole senior over there, right, is all girls. I'm the only guys, and I was only like really? two. <laughs> yes, then I thought, right, is it all of who players are yeah. girls? <laughs> that's what my initial. I think that's thought. opposite. Eh. I think mm. most of who players are guys instead of yeah. girls. Then after I like you know I watch more concerts. Oh, actually guys also can play. Oh, I thought I was a special kid back then. Yeah. <laughs> I think also because of the media. It's a also, lot of media, but, lot of media, but then you think about Johnny. So Johnny is the, the Gozen player, he's the guy on, in the Turn Ensemble. I would say it's a stereotype. Right? It's, it's definitely a stereotype. stereotype. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Our so. Gozen player doesn't wear T-Pow. <laughs> because he's a man. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, Johnny. <laughs> Sounds very China. Uh, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> e -e 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 I mean... No! Why? Why? Okay, okay. I think the reason why people think it sounds like China, right? Because they see too much Muzia Pian and too much Chinese shows. There yeah. is a stigma and stereotype yeah. about it. And they're not yeah. wrong because the music has been around for so long, you see. Yeah. And it doesn't change as fast as mm. the current pop music that we listen to. The history of Chinese music is so rich and crazy. These are pieces that have survived thousands of years. Like, yeah. Nowadays, the songs you listen to, all the awesome pop songs you hear in your top 40 charts, Mm. None of them last more than half a year on the charts and then they fade into oblivion after that. So you can see That's the lifespan right. of the music is different. I mean, the moment you want to make something more Chinese, you just throw in Chinese music. <laughs> no brainer. <laughs> you take an uh who it's of course it's gonna sound Chinese, right? <laughs> but then right, uh sometimes we can play our instruments with different kind of inks, uh, different kind mm, of mm, mm. Uh, tone colours. It doesn't sound very China at all. Right? Yeah, actually. So what they say, yeah. So it's actually very versatile, some of the instruments. Yeah, I think when we were young in school we get that a lot. Like, mm. hey, don't play with him, uh, he's in the China group. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess we sound really different these days. So yes. uh, don't be too quick to judge. Uh, you can check out. Turn on Zombo's uh, Facebook page and all the music videos we have. I don't, I don't think we sound that china. Okay. <laughs> Melodies are boring, outdated, and are only used for ke tai, lion dance, or Chinese opera. No application outside of this performance. <laughs> have, have, have. Wow, loud. Have, so, have, have. Funeral, funeral. <laughs> Weddings also, ma. Weddings, what, right? Yeah. Only now it's in ke tai, lion dance, Chinese opera. <laughs> but concert halls also, right? Mm. We perform in concert halls, what? Okay, this probably came from a non-musician. <laughs> <laughs> because the scales that... Called out. Yeah, called <laughs> out. Sorry, I'm triggered by this. <laughs> <laughs> because the scales and the melodies are basically the same. The melodies, the pentatonic scale and everything. It's, it's used a lot in Everywhere, Western yeah. music. Yeah. It's used a lot in other music. Silent dance is only like what? Cool. From what I know, just like... Just like simple... Mostly percussions. Like mostly percussions. Yeah. yeah. Then for Ge Tai, Actually, Ke Tai nowadays sing all those pop songs, right? Really, man? Okay, like, maybe like the 90s classic, Chinese classic, 80s Chinese classic. This kind. Oh, I mean, to say that there's no application outside of these performances, it's not true. I mean, we have so many modern yeah. films, modern games, like for example, Genshin Impact, Li Yue. I mean, it's all Chinese music, Chinese instruments. Yeah, so I mean, that's not true. <laughs> the wow, last one. Last one. Is it bad that I say Chinese instruments look similar to items that my mom could just pick up and beat me with it? It's not trauma. This, this was yeah, it was so bad. I've gone through some. Yeah. What, what set home you come from? <laughs> if you have at home the luxury of a Chinese instrument being used as a beating instrument, then someone must be playing Chinese instruments in your home, right? I'm also quite rich uh, to be able to sacrifice an instrument to beat people. <laughs> what, your mom beat you with <laughs> I feel for this person. <laughs> if you need help, please call. There are hotlines <laughs> that you can reach out to. I think it's because of the those Wuxia pen that they feel like you can you can use the instruments. They use to fight what? or whatever. Oh, oh the Gucci. Gucci is coming. I don't see like you know the sheng or gu zheng and it's really hard to beat people. Ah who? Ah who? Maybe the. It always goes back to that. Oh, you right. <laughs> The okay. ones like my sectional teacher, I cannot say who la. <laughs> <laughs> she was mad. Uh -huh. Yeah, then she threw the school's Zhonghu on the floor. Oh no! Then she had to pay for it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no la, but 
I don't think she meant it lah because she was very angry because during SIF period everyone was oh, yeah. stressed. Yeah, that's why understandable. What would you like to tell our audience about Chinese music after today's session? Actually, I feel Chinese music is very versatile nowadays compared to last time. There's more new works coming out, and the instruments are used in different ways. The thing that needs to change, of course, is mindsets, and it's just music. It's just sounds and stuff. It's not necessarily old-fashioned. And if we repackage it and you just try and see it in different light, you actually see that a lot of melodies are complex. They're beautiful in their own ways. Uh, spend time to actually know more, especially when your friends are playing the instruments. Yeah. Like, just spend like, a little bit of effort to be a bit curious about what they are doing and what they play and what sort of music they can come up with the instruments. Mm. Coming back to what Teng actually does with the Chinese music, I think it's, it's a very, very good step. I'm very, very happy to, that we are a part of this. I think the work Teng has done over the last few years uh, goes against all these questions we have yes, today. Totally. So if you were to visit us and check us out, you will realize that we are none of all, all these. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's all for today. Please remember to like, share and follow us for more content. And do let us know what you'd like to react to next in the comments below. Bye! Bye.